Hello everyone, this is Laura with DV Homestead. Sorry, uh, it's getting a little windy this morning, so I'm trying my best to protect you guys from that. But, just wanted to give you kind of a what's going on right now kind of update. Here's the sheep. These are the only livestock we have left at the moment. Our chickens and our turkey went up to our friend's house. We're still kind of hoping to do a butcher, but we are running out of time, so it looks like we might not be able to. But we have our hair sheep left. You can see they're shedding their winter coats. It looks so strange. They don't, <laughs> they're losing a couple inches of their coats. Look at that. But had a guy come last night and put money down for those three. He likes the fact that the ram is still intact and he likes the girls. Had another person pass on them because they're not sure about those types of sheep. They've never seen hair sheep before. Their words, not mine. But we're, we've got a vet coming to check out Ramalama Ding Dong, Patches and their baby, the ewe right there because we're hoping to be able to take them with us. Um, we're trying to work out a transport or something, but there are all these rules and laws for you to transport animals across state lines and everything else. You've got to have the scrappy tags. So I'll probably do a video with me punching their ears with the scrappy tags. Big Family Homestead beat me to punching the ear with the tag. They did their cow, but I'm so glad to kind of have had that as a reference. So I kind of know what to expect. It does not look like it's fun <laughs> at all, but they have to have Scrappy's tags. They've got to have a health certificate filled out by a veterinarian, and it's only good for 30 days. And <laughs> I mean, you name it. They're, they're, I guess my husband was looking into it, and to transport goats is You've got to have a whole slew of tests for goats, but for sheep, you need the scrappy tag and the clean bill of health to be able to transport them over state lines. So we're really hoping to take those three with us. They're really good sheep. They're really big, healthy sheep, and we really want to butcher the little ewe there because I think she would taste delicious. And we are thinking about getting catadins once we get where we, we're going because we really, really do like the hair sheep. But yeah, I'm waiting on the installers right now. They're supposed to show up any time between 8.30 and 9.30. So I had just enough time to get my daughter to school and get back home. But they're supposed to be installing the front door and the windows within this next week before we go. They're literally gonna finish the day before we're supposed to leave. Hopefully everything's on track. I know we're supposed to get rain here soon. The wind's picking up, so I don't know if the storm's trying to blow in now. The sky is pretty clear, but train's coming. Let's get you, let's go inside, shall we? So we're in from the train, and I wanted to show you how the painting's going so far. This is the dining room, and I'm really loving the colors that I picked. I wasn't sure I would, but I went with country white and worn mountain trail for the brown. And I really like the creamy color of the white with the chocolatey color of the brown. I think those go really well together. And then I've got a few a whoopses to fix. Should have went with the brown first and then done the white with the edging attachment. I didn't think about that. But this is how the dining room is now looking. And I, I think that turned out really well. Because those, those little racks that are built into the wall, little shelves. And I can't wait to paint the kitchen because look how ugly those colors are. I think it, I'm going to do the same color combination in the kitchen, the country white and the brown, 
for the trim in the cupboards and then the white for the walls. And I think it'll just help make the rooms flow into each other really well. And I, I really like the color combination. It just, it's just a very nice, they go well together and they, they contrast nicely. They give it a very clean appearance in my opinion. What do you guys think? But I've got the kitchen left to paint, two bathrooms left to paint, and touch-ups in the living room. And then my husband has to do the fascia board around the outside of the house. But And what I like really well about the brown on the wood is it's very similar to the darker striations in the laminate. So I think they go really nicely together. We'll see a little bit better once I pull up all the plastic and tape, right? <laughs> I did not want to ruin the new laminate. <laughs> but yeah, that's a little update of how things are going. We're on a countdown. We got eight days left until we want to leave town. It looks like we're possibly leaving on the 13th instead of the 14th, as long as everything goes according to plan. Fingers crossed. Fingers crossed. But, yeah. I think that looks really nice. Okay. Thanks for watching. Talk to you later. Bye.